Hi, I'm Todd Landry with JMA Wireless. First of all, we want to say thank you to the Angle Alliance. From all the JMA employees, Amazon Web Services, Druid Software, and Crown Castle, who all came together to build this solution at Carnegie Mellon University. Now, Carnegie, Carnegie Mellon University is a bit unique in what we're doing with this solution. First and foremost, at Carnegie Mellon, they have the Living Edge Labs. And the Living Edge Labs is part of their computer science organization where they run a variety of different developments and experiments to look at how edge applications can perform better on the mobile devices that are connected to these networks. It is part of this initiative that drove the dialogue between Amazon Web Services, JMA, and the group over at Carnegie Mellon uh, Computer Science Division to discuss and learn how we can enable an environment for them to do better experiments with. As a result of that, we built an outdoor network, uh, a network across the campus where they can look at different experiences for different mobile devices or different IoT type devices and how those can perform under different scenarios. I want to take a minute and have Satya, the head of the computer science organization from Carnegie Mellon, tell you a little bit about why they are interested in this. Thank you very much for inviting me to this event. I'm here to share my thoughts today on a question that I'm sure is high on everyone's mind in this room, which is how do you deliver value and monetize 5G and edge computing? How do you get a return, substantial return on that investment that many of you are making? My answer is very simple. It is to create new, addictive, edge-native applications that delight users and deliver high value to them. And if you do this, then the demand for 5G and edge computing will be enormous and continue to grow. So what is an edge-native application? It is an application that cannot run by itself on a mobile device because it is too compute intensive or resource intensive. It cannot run entirely on the cloud because its end-to-end -end latency requirements are too stringent or its bandwidth scalability is uh, a big challenge. So in these situations, you need a combination of a mobile device and edge computing infrastructure and 5G connecting the two to make the whole thing work. And applications that are written from scratch to leverage this capability is what I refer to as edge native applications. Over the past five to seven years, my team at Carnegie Mellon University has built a large number of these applications. And we are working with a number of companies, including JMA and Intel, who have both supported our work in very substantial ways. Um, we are open to collaboration with other companies. We have an initiative called the Open Edge Computing Initiative, whose goal is to help innovate in this space and incubate the creation of new edge native applications. Earlier this year, in partnership with JMA and Amazon, we created an instance of the Living Edge Lab at Carnegie Mellon University to provide small cell wireless coverage on parts of the campus and parts of the city of Pittsburgh to create a live environment to explore the creation of these kinds of applications. And so with this investment and with the experience of our previous years behind us, we are looking forward to many more accomplishments in the near future. Thank you. Thank you, Satya. Now, what's important about this initiative is not just the deployment of a CBRS system, it's about new innovation, something that JMA has always been on the forefront of, leveraging our X-RAM technology, operating in environments like the Amazon Web Services virtualization environments, it is where some of the core infrastructure is really going to head in the future for the world of 5G. More importantly, is looking at the end-to-end -end use cases, the end-to-end -end applications that really matter for the end customers of all of our technology. 
So join me again and congratulations everybody involved with the Ango Alliance, everybody involved in building brand new use cases using the private wireless CBRS technology and enabling new innovation in the marketplace. Thank you again.